Hi guys, are you here? And let's continue with our little mech. So, well, not so little really. This guy's a badass, isn't it? We're going to uh, shape up this neck a bit. Okay, so we're going to start working on introducing some details uh, to the mech. But before we do that, I really want to fix this bit. Okay, because it got uh, messed up, uh, with, uh, you know, um, due to the mirror. I'm going to take this opportunity to fix it. So uh, control plus this up to here and make sure that really everything is selected that's important. So the bit in here isn't important, meaning we're going to deselect it. So press W a few times and hold control and just, uh, oops, hold shift to select these, hold control to deselect these, right? Press W again. And we're going to split it, okay, so P, to its own selection and we're going to close this face right and before we do that let's fix these uh floating verts here right so let's remove them and let's see bottom is fine cool now we can also remove these edges here right because we don't need them so uh, delete these and delete these okay so now what we're gonna do is grab this one and this one and go to local and let's move this one a little bit to the side here so we have a reference okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna recreate this piece but we're going to uh, rip it off so shift control on the curve extract and you know bring it outside and we need to make it a little bit larger so hold you know hold shift and make it a tiny bit larger but in fact before we do that we need to move our origin point back to geo and now we can do this okay so now we can uh, go to come on back mode here and you know scale it just a little bit so let's apply uh you know sharpen this uh, so apply the sharpen that and I'm gonna have some fun with this one so scale it down until it breaks and i'm gonna redesign it a little bit okay because i have an idea what to do with this now so and you know extrude it here right so we got this and we're gonna have to choose i mean chamfer this like that let's uh run sharp mark mark sharp in here we're going to run double holes in here okay so first of all what we're gonna do is um grab grab this one how 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 thick is this oh, it's running from here so the screws could be in the middle okay so let's now um you know remove this because we don't need it delete it oh in fact we can just move it to junk you know or backup or whatever just to have a reference in the future but i don't think we need it but alt h to recover the cutters which are these ones um grab this bit in the middle and this one and let's go to local and we don't need this one okay so now we need to think yeah so um a lot of these make sure that's too many that will do and this one is to be smaller we now need to think about securing the loops yeah so make this one smaller like that and before we do anything, we're gonna press Control One, which will introduce sub D, yeah. And we will actually apply this sub D um, to this mesh. Um, so let's move it up a little bit, and we need to now introduce um, crease to all the edges. So recalculate sharp and with crease. So now bevel runs on top of these edges, yeah. So now when we slice this, right. Um, before we do that, uh, what we need to do is run loops on this one and then um, difference, yeah, and let's hide it. And you see now this creates an ultimately clean cut with one slice. If you have problems with, uh, uh, you know, with shading, just move stuff about a, a bit, but it, it's, it's, you know, it's much cleaner this way. And what we can do right we can remove the middle two okay so what we will do 
um, is remove the middle too. So let's grab this one again and recall the cutters, yeah? And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it, okay? So we're going to duplicate this, right? And hide these and this ones, we're going to actually apply um, uh, the modifiers. So smart apply, yeah? Smart apply this, okay? And we're going to delete the ones in the middle, okay? So um, in our case, we could actually move this a bit, you know, uh, because it's not uh, it's not been it's not even. So we want it to be even, okay? So move it somewhere here, and we're going to remove these two and these three, okay? So Control L and remove them, right? So we're gonna end up with something like this on the sides, which is exactly what we want. And when we grab this with this, these p pistons, right? So let's grab them together. We need to simply align them. So rotate them, okay, on Y axis. So let's rotate them a bit, hold shift, you know, uh, so they more or less fit the, um, inside here. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to select um, this ones, right? Oh, this is it is this actually um, being a rate as well. So uh, copy this to um, copy this to backup. So we have a backup, and we're gonna apply everything. Okay, so operations smart apply, right? And before we do that, what well, we need to we need to make sure that we are actually uh, happy with the shape of it, because once you apply it, you know you're done. You know I mean, you have to edit every single one of them, right? There's a way of going around it, but you could sh you could all do this and you know rotate it around and uh, go around this way. But it's much easier to you know edit it uh, in in this state, right? So um, we, we could have a bit of fun with this one at the moment, yeah? So we could, you know, start editing this a little bit. So let's go with EM macro and come on, EM macro on this one. Really, no, this is not gonna work. Fascinating. Extrude, cancel and Alt S. And then scale it on, um, on local meaning select this face select this plus here to create a custom orientation and sx sy there we go and scale it on this axis like this so uh, that's one detail and let me see what we could do is create an like an inlet in here for the cable to go through so you know create a bit more details right because that's what we want we want a bit more details and bevel this one here so chamfer it as well and uh, there you go and recalculate sharpen okay do we need anything more in here? They're gonna be visible quite, you know, quite vividly from this side. So we could actually introduce something more in here, some kind of a more, you know, some more interest uh, on this side. And let's see. Let's grab this and let's see if the um, extract will work. And it's gonna actually mirror. It will mirror and it will, I mean, array. That's what I mean. It will actually get the rate good. So let's go to back view. And let's slice it a bit, shall we? So what we're gonna do is grab an angle and we're going to slice it a bit. Uh, we can't slice it uh, without destroying the array. Right. Okay, so let's uh, grab uh, another loop in here and E cancel Alt S and scale it just a little bit and do the same thing as Y and scale it on this one and we're going to rerun sharpens which will not work because the angles are too shallow so we're gonna do it manually okay manually like this all right perfect now how are we looking yeah we're looking pretty good we're looking pretty good um 
And also what we need to do is extrude it a little bit deeper here and remove this one, okay? So it just helps. So it goes deeper into the uh, into this uh, device. Okay, I think this will do. I think this will do. We could just drop some decals on them later on. But I think more or less we are we are good here. So um, we can, you know, uh, back up this again and then um, grab these and smart apply. So operations and smart apply. And then we can apply bevel, right? So apply bevel. And change bevel to angle, uh, sorry, to weight, because otherwise these edges are not going to get caught. And also, uh, let's turn off the crease because we don't need it anymore. So now we're going to grab these two and go to back view. And we're going to remove um, these two and these three. All right, so control and P. And, uh, well, you know, we don't need them, right? So we can delete them. And now we got this space on the bottom and the top that we can actually design something with it. So it's pretty cool. Now we're encroaching a bit on the territory here of this, um, um, you know, oh, come on. Uh, let's go to global and SY0. There we go. It wasn't completely flat for some reason. And let's see this one F, SY0. Y0, this one wasn't flat either. Fascinating. Let's actually fix all of them then. So, S, Y0, there we go. This whole structure wasn't, uh, wasn't uh, you know, straight for some odd reason. This one is uh, causing problems here. And this one. There we go. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So now that we got this going, um, let me see. Right. So now that we got this going, we can move this one inwards a little bit, right? So, um, you know, um, select this one, make it a bit larger, just to, you know, a little bit, and move it in. And then select these ones and move them in too, right? So move them in here and let's see. And now it's better, okay? So we want this part not to touch the uh, the back. So now it's good. And in fact, I could collapse this one a little bit too, you know, just uh, something like this. There we go. It's pretty cool. All right. So we sorted this bit. And we can, you know, we can introduce some holes in here to uh, sort of uh, mount it on, on this one, right? And this one is it not straight either. SY0. Fascinating. Let's actually fix this. This is crooked all over. See that? So let's fix all these rings to make them actually appear straight. So let's grab all of these and SY0 and PG. Right? Good, 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 good. Now it's straight. Okay, perfect. So now, uh, these cylinders, um, this could be all deeper a little bit, you know, just a tiny bit deeper, yeah? So, something like that, yeah. And, wait a minute. So like this, all of them, there you go. Can we move this? Wait a minute, why is it not moving? Isn't that... Oh, that's not parented. So go to um, operations and late parent to parent it, uh, the cutter to... Uh, for some reason it will not do it. Fascinating. Maybe because it's a rate, that's why, you know, that could be the problem, so. So, what we're going to do is we're going to apply, uh, just multiply this, and we're going to resharpen it. 
and this should solve the problem so let's grab this and see what's gonna happen to our shading it might get destroyed a little bit but now you need to ask yourself a question right do you really need to fix this um, for example in the middle it doesn't matter right uh, in fact what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna turn on the shadow which is uh, bloody confusing at the moment but we're gonna turn the cavity on so we can see all the you know um, problems with the shading but you need to ask yourself a question um, is it all worth fixing um, because not you know not all of these will be visible so if you create something um, and you have shading problems you need to ask yourself a question you know like do i really need to fix this uh, all of these or, or, or am i okay um, because um, or ask yourself a question like from which angles i'm going to be rendering it what's the purpose of this model is it if it's a game asset you know you have no choice i mean you gotta work your uh, your butt off to fix things but uh, if it if it isn't then you know you, you, you should be fine so thanks to subdivision we have a little bit more geo to work with but at the same time we have a lot more to clean up now what you could do is run a machine cleanup however in this situation it might not be ideal okay um, there is a lot of uh, the reason for it is that both of these uh, surfaces I mean the inside and outside are curved right this one is curved and this one is curved so it doesn't matter which one you move you're gonna disturb the curvature so the only way to get perfect shading on this one would be to run, uh, to run um, weighted normals uh, tr normal tr normal transfer but um, you know you don't really need to do this on on mesh that will not be um, see that didn't really work very well on mesh that will not be uh, visible uh, that well right because if there was a prominent piece somewhere in the front I would probably do it but in here you know uh, basic mesh fixing should do so like I said it's important to ask yourself this question do I really need to bother with it so to a certain extent you do like for example here you see we got this pulls on the geo we want to fix it because this is going to be visible but you don't have to go crazy you know well this one needs to be fixed for sure and the reason for this one is it simply is lacking and uh, the sharp edge this one needs to get fixed for sure so i'll go uh, shift one to uh, but you see the the the, the shading gonna shift so maybe we can do this one and then we can run a sharp edge sharp edge should solve a lot of our problems in this area in fact, let's run sharp edge on all of these. I'm surprised that uh, the angle is just not steep enough over there, so we need to run it manually in certain areas. And I'm not going to be symmetrizing it. Um, I could, but I'm just not going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do it manually, so it's fine. It's not too much work, really. It's just a few edges. This one needs to get fixed because it's pulling, so shift one. And shift one and you're good this is uh there's a problem in here which we need to fix shift one and all these need to be fixed shift one's going to connect them in the middle which means you know um all of them gonna get pulled in so the disturbance of the curvature is minimal on both sides if you follow my drift yeah because they, they all pull together, right? You see? So, it's just too close to one another, yeah. All these three verts, it's just... That's a bad idea. On a top shelf, I mean, you, you know, you, you gotta fix it too, but only if you're really having problems. So, like, even this is fine, you see. We could switch this to... Uh, oh, we have it on weight, good. Well, this, these ones are just too close, you know. So, shift one and we're probably gonna have to do it all around so it's gonna take a while um whoops we pulled the wrong piece there we go sometimes angle cause problems sometimes it's different things like that being too close um the 
them inside, I don't. I just don't care because I think what happens is that uh, the bullion went through. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. They simply went through. Um, this is actually quite curious. What's going on here? Ah, uh, they they're literally so close. They 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 meet, but it's so deep you can't see, so it doesn't really matter. Come on. Um, I wouldn't combine these two together. That's a bad idea. Actually, I'm gonna do something like this. That's better. Combine these two. That's fine. Let's see what's going on here. Double verts. Maybe even triple verts. I think it's triple verts. Yeah. A better way of running this uh, would be like this. Okay. This would be preferable way of running it so we could fix this one here move this one a bit lower again inside really doesn't matter if you wanted to fix it what you can do right because the angles are too big in here what you can do is uh, literally you know uh, run uh, an edge here okay like this See, this will relieve the stress, but like I said, it is just no point of doing it um, in areas that are not important because it just adds work and no one's gonna see it. So, and we're not gonna be, you know, doing anything special with it. Like, for example, we're not gonna be UVing that, so it's okay. Move this one out a little bit and. I'm really tempted to symmetrize it, but because you know it would cut the work in half. To fix these, right, what you need to do is bring them together, so scale them, or um, what you could, uh, let's actually grab this circle here and remove it, so uh, faces and see what's going on in here. See this, these uh, meet right together, so what you can do shift g parameter right and you can just scale them or uh, simply chamfer them right if you chamfer them they go into um, pop away from one another and at the same time you're gonna get an interesting uh, shape in the, in the middle here so and you can close the face back and this one too this is insanity i mean uh, we should be um we should be removing this because uh, we don't need these subdivisions there. Um, that's what subdivision did to a face, it triangulated it because it was an end gone. Which is why subdivision on non quad mesh could be tricky, but the mesh was quads except for you know these few areas, right? So combine these two. That created some weird shading here, and mm, yeah, not not too wise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it away from the mesh here, like this, okay, and away here as well. In fact, this whole edge, we're just gonna move it away. There you go. And this one the same. We could move it away. Combine these two. I could combine these two as well and oops shift one i'm not gonna remove all of them because really just no point especially in places when it doesn't cause me any grief um but this definitely needs to be fixed so move it away look from the top you know because um when we render this, you're gonna be able to see this from the top, right? So, or from a side. So that's that's where it matters, right? You know, no one's gonna, you know, look inside this this thing and said, "Oh, this shading is a little bit off." Because who cares? Combine these two. I think there are more than one vert in here. There you go. And same here. Just move this vert inside. And split them a little bit. 
Um, if you wanted to fix it properly, this would take ages. It can be done, it's just bloody pointless. Split them apart, you know, they're too close to one another, okay. This one's gonna cause a problem, I'm gonna remove it, so... There you go, see, it's gonna relax this whole place. Mm, this one's gonna be problematic, we need to move it like this, and then preferably do something like this. And then remove this one. And then fix these, so... Combine them together, this one is too close. And the rest is fine. There is a disaster in here. Move this vert away. And move this one here and combine these two. Again, same situation. You could just run an edge to release the stress here, but I just can't be, you know, can't be bothered. Um, move this one a little bit up. I wouldn't combine these two. Wait a minute. Oh. Move this one away. There we go. Then combine these two. That's fine. There is a problem in here caused by this. Because the angle of edge falling in is too steep. And it's going to cause problems, right? Combine these two. That's fine. The one inside is a little bit too steep and no one can see it. So I don't care. And the rest is, I think it's okay. No, it's not. We need to fix all these. And this one too. It's too close. And this one too. Too close. There you go. Same story. Just too close. It goes over the bevel, so of course it's gonna cause problems. Uh, combine. Combine these two. It's fine. And I think we're good. More or less, right? So let's save it because it's a lot of work and uh, we don't want to do it again. Do we? No, we don't. Okay, sure, that's cool. So now we have this piece, you know, running like that and uh, um, looks pretty awesome. So. Cool. That's cool. Uh, I need to think what I'm going to do with these cables. I'm probably going to run the cables a little bit differently, but uh, we will think about what we're going to do in here. I want some cables definitely in here. Maybe I'm going to create some pistons in here, you know, like... And uh, move them to, to the spine pieces. And maybe some on the bottom as well, and just, you know, cable them down. It's a mech, so it technically shouldn't have cables, but screw it, it's a cool design. So, you know, because it's a, it's a war mech, um, you don't want any bits that are vulnerable, exposed to damage. Uh, because it's a war machine, like a tank, right? It's supposed to be protected, but, you know, we're just having fun with designs. Now, if you want to be pedantic, you know, you can... You can keep fixing it, like, for example, there was a tiny break in here, and still it's break. Wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me look at this one. Ah, we connected wrong words. Let's go back in time. There we go. We wanted this one. This one and this one. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. So, you know, walk around and look at the shading. Um, you can turn off different matcap if you want. There's some shading problem in here. Same situation, you see. So, just move them closer, and you're gonna be good. Same here. So you could do with every single one of them, because this is what's gonna be... Because there's a curvature in here too, right? Going around, so... All these top words should technically be fixed, you know. Uh, this should be fine. This is too far, so... This is fine, fine, okay. Should be fine. Yep, alright, good. Okay guys, well that's it, that's the 
um, this piece fixed. Let's save it again. Uh, let's keep, keep going. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.